Come on, then. Well, that took longer than it needed to. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. As if you guys just sat and watched me cut the grass for like a minute, like you guys are the best. If you are excited for today's video, drop a like. And if you are looking forward to more action from the doggos, Flicky the Ever Hopeful and Jesse the Nutter. You gonna catch this one? You gonna catch it? Yeah. So finishing up in the garden, pretty much means I have green Hulk hands from cutting the grass and so I come in, end up scrubbing my hands for like five minutes and then they still don't end up the normal colour again. Yeah. Second round of soap. And that's pretty much as good as it'll get for now. Mm. Hmm. You know what? I'm, I'm just not feeling white today. Right, you know they say curiosity killed the cat, but here goes nothing. Okay, that's good. I mean, it's definitely, definitely tastes like you're just drinking Fanta, but like, it's nice. So in today's video, it's gonna be my my first time going <laughs> going somewhere. I mean, I, I'm actually really friggin' nervous about it. I, I, I don't know why I shouldn't be. Other people do this on like a weekly, on a monthly basis, but I've never done it before. I'm not quite sure what to make of it. I'm not quite sure what to wear either because I don't want to wear something that's gonna get ruined, it'll make sense in a minute. I don't wanna wear something that's gonna get ruined, but I also don't wanna dress, like, really dress down, because I've never met this person before, and I, d I don't want them to think bad of me, I, d I, d I don't know. <laughs> does this, does this look okay? Yeah, okay. So I'm coming to this place called Ted Barbers, um, and pretty much, this is my first time going to a barber. I've never been um, to anywhere other than one place, and this one place in Nottingham. So this is going to be interesting, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't really friggin' nervous, but here goes nothing. D, confirm by saying either yes or no. No. Press 1 to send me your number plate by text. Press 2 to tell me your number plate again by phone. B. C. P. This may take a few moments. Fuck. A few moments later. <sighs> well, I can see why people get so patriotic and like defensive over their barbers. They like make friends with their barbers and like I've never really had that before because the reason why it's my first time is because I've never been to a barber's. I've never been to a barber and had, you know, like a proper 
fade thing done. I've only ever been to hairdressers. Um, now, <coughs> no, no, I'll go to a barber. <coughs> but pretty much, I was sat down. He was like, right, okay, well, what, what do you want? What, do you, what are we doing? I was like, um... Nice and short on the sides, and um, like uh, long longer on the top. <laughs> Straight away after I said that, he kind of just looked at me like. But no, really nice guy, really nice vibe in there. Some Michael Bublé going on in the background. It was uh, it was chilled. It was nice. It was relaxed. Um, but I say it was relaxed, but I was tense as fuck the entire time because I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous purely because I have had some bad, bad haircuts in the past. I mean, can you guys remember? When I was first year fat, yeah, I mean, at the end of first year, I got really friggin' fat. Um, so I had a really round face, pretty much, uh, like, which obviously a round face, like, you know, you look bigger. Back then, I had bigger hair, so it was chunkier at the sides and all that kind of stuff as well. Obviously, that summer, I had a lot of weight to lose, and I lost 25, 27, I think it was actually even like 27, 28 pounds. Like, I lost a lot of weight. I was big. I was way over 200 pounds. Bearing in mind in the last video you guys saw me weighing 173 pounds. I have about 10 pounds more muscle mass than I did then at least. And so I was probably 35, maybe even 40 pounds heavier in terms of fat. Like I was big. So anyway, I'd lost all of this weight and I like, you know, I got down to a point where I was happy, I was comfortable, you know, I looked all right. I felt confident. I felt a lot better about myself because I was aware of how big I had gotten, right? And so second year came around, right? I moved into Coach House. So not Gordon House, my second year place was called Coach House. I went to a hairdresser in town and pretty much this guy ranted about how nice my hair was and how great it was to cut and all this kind of stuff and he just kept cutting and kept cutting 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 to the point where my fringe was so short there was like no movement there whatsoever my hair is really straight and so pretty much this haircut this that this guy gave me i'd finally gained my jawline back i finally felt confident about the way that i looked and my hair is you know pretty important to me anyway and the haircut that this guy just gave me i mean it just literally completely rounded my face again have you ever have you ever had a bad haircut where you've fully been butchered and literally the person just made my head look round again and I literally cried like uh, I'm not ashamed to say that I was that upset about it that I cried because I put my heart and soul into losing all this weight like 28 like that took a long time it took me all summer I hardly had a chocolate bar I did cardio every day I trained every day I stuck to my routine proper good and it just got ruined <laughs> got ruined by a haircut. I, I'm just reliving it now. Ah, But that's all in the past. We have a new place now. We have Ted Barbers. There's a reason for why I'm moving, which I'll go to either later or in a different video. It's not a massive deal. But anyway, right. That's another day. I mean, I'm glad this looks good because I've, I've got to go to work now. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa. Hi, doggies. Good girls. Ooh. You? All right, everybody. So it is currently the following day. Please, by the way, drop the video a like if you're enjoying it so far. It would mean a lot. It would help us grow, etc., etc., etc. So please take two seconds to drop a like. I'm about to train at day five of Matt's. You guys know I'm doing Matt Duff's fitnesses program. I'm about to train day five, which is something again that I've never done before. I've never done legs and back on the same day, so it starts off with like deadlifts, but then there's pull-ups and stuff in there as well. I don't really deadlift. It's very few and far between the times that I actually decide to deadlift, but it's in the program. Like I've said to you guys, I'm sticking to the program. I'm going to trust it. I'm going to hope that it brings me some results, you know? So I'm just going to stick to it. I'm going to do exactly what it says. Eight reps on a certain RP scale, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to stick to it, right? But I just wanted to finish off today's video talking a little bit about structure and how having structure is not necessarily necessary for some people but it's necessary for somebody like me purely because I'm fairly laid back. Obviously that's not in every situation of life but when it comes to my training I'm fairly laid back. I just want to enjoy it and I just want to you know ride the wave and go through the process and just that be that. I don't want to you know be training like a professional bodybuilder like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I want to enjoy it and I just want to not, uh, probably laid back is the wrong word. I just want to just want to make sure I'm enjoying it, right? 
But since graduating, I honestly hadn't enjoyed it purely because uh, I don't know. It was probably me mainly my mental state. I was just kind of getting over graduating uni and stuff, which sounds stupid. But I mean, if you guys follow the channel, you know exactly kind of what I'm talking about. But since starting this new plan, it's given me some structure, and I found that that is actually necessary for me. I kind of knew it was, but I kind of just swayed away from it for the past couple of months, just for whatever reason. But like I said in the last video, something had to change, and apparently that was just my routine, and it was just kind of. A quick flick switch like that. But what I want to say to you guys at home is not necessarily worry about ne like having that step by step, this is exactly what I'm doing structure, especially if you are a very beginner, if you're very new to training, you know. Um, just make sure that you are literally walking in the gym excited to do your session like I am right now and leaving the gym with the exact same mentality. If you are leaving the gym with a smile on your face, you are more likely to come back. At the end of the day, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're not going to stick to it. If you don't stick to it, you're not going to see the results. And so if you don't see the results, then what's the point in going to the gym? Do you know what I mean? So if, as long as you are having a smile on your face when you walk in and when you walk out, that's not going to happen every single time. There are going to be days, but the majority of the time, if you can walk in and be excited to be Training. And once you finish, you are on your way out, you are happy with what you've done, you've enjoyed it, etc, etc, then you're doing the right thing, guys, as far as I'm concerned, okay? So I just wanted to finish off today's video with that little note. Please drop it a like if you have enjoyed it. I put a lot of effort in today's video. You won't have actually seen it, but a lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes, so a lot of effort has gone into me actually getting this video out on time. So drop it a like if you have enjoyed it. Comment down below and subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys so much for your support. We have gone past 1,200 subs now, so that is mental. Thank you so much. Drop a like again. Comment down below, that's the third time I've said that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Together, we will grow. I am going to enjoy today's session and then head off to work. So, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.